The ocean has given us a number of great games. For example, The Little Mermaid from Capcom, The Little Mermaid 2, Pinball Frenzy, and Water Levels from Sonic. Bioshock is a critically acclaimed game that still holds relevance to this day, often cited as being one of the best games of all time. And having recently taken a dive back into the game, I can confirm, Bioshock is actual garbage. That's right, Bioshock? Not good. Now I know how you're feeling. Pretty shocked, huh? But before you say good bio, hear me out. I have only your best interests and safety at heart, okay? You're, you're gonna thank me after, honestly. Like many people who fell into the clutches of Bioshock, the prospect of visiting an underwater city was fascinating to me, especially since this one was promised to be paradise on Earth. I mean, golly, even the name of the city, Rapture, led me to believe that I would just be Bulan and Rapturin. Even the cover of the game led me to believe everything here would be chill. Look, there's a nice happy family, and the father of this little daughter is giving me a fist bump, a sign of, hey, come on in friend, the water is warm. All in all, I was ready for a good spot of safe Christian fun. And so, the friendly folks on the cover, and the promise of exploring an underwater utopia drew me in. My plane had a bit of trouble landing, but overall I made it just fine. The first red flag I had was when I entered the surface entrance to Rapture, and the door closed ominously behind me. The next literal red flag said no gods or kings, only man, which immediately eliminated any hope I had of having Christian fun. But at least I could still look forward to a spot of safe fun. <laughs> Making friends in Rapture was incredibly difficult for me. I feel a big part of Utopia is being able to make a lot of friends. So, when I saw not only just how unresponsive the AI was to my attempts at friendship, but that it also tried to actively avoid me or murder me, not gonna lie, I was hurt. Aside from the incredibly unpleasant atmosphere, at this point it became clear to me. I was extremely misled. The nice little girl on the box art is actually sociopathic, and her father is not actually her father. Instead, it is a random gentleman known as Big Daddy, which I found extremely distasteful. Regardless of what you may think of the satanic girl, child safety should still always be a priority. Which leads me to a major gripe I have with Bioshock. The environment is horribly unsafe. What what kind of operation is this city running anyways? Drugs are available in vending machines on the street. Weapons are freely and readily accessible. Dilapidation, water hazard, fire hazard, tripping hazard, smoke hazard. These bathrooms are not accessible. The doctors are also quite unpleasant. And the residents, don't even get me started on the residents. At this point, it becomes quite obvious to me, this is no paradise. It's one thing to slightly mislead your audience into a neat little trick for a titular surprise. It's another to completely lie to them. And that's how I feel, completely lied to. Overall, I felt like Bioshock had a lot of potential. It's a shame that all of it was blown. With the promise of the City of Rapture, each additional room I explored just sunk my morale lower and lower until I reached the point where I had virtually no hope of exploring an underwater utopia. The people were extremely unpleasant, and the environment was extremely dangerous. Perhaps that was the strongest blow of all, as safety is a core tenet of game design that Bioshock just completely ignored. The disregard for player safety reached levels that were downright offensive to me. It signaled to me that 2K doesn't respect me as a player, and doesn't respect my safety at all. And as we all know, there's only one thing that comes from not being safe. Death. Bioshock is certified actual garbage.